What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. We are getting into the newest episodes of Mashal and One Piece, starting with Mashal Episode 7, Season 2. Yo, I'm excited for this. I have a feeling we're going to get some next level animation, just like we got with Reigns and his reveal of his third line, a genuine third line. The dormant power within his wand as he. I guess awakens that third line and the animation looks exquisite it looked fucking amazing and we know from you know the studio that's doing the show a1 productions is also doing solo leveling some of the work that we've seen in solo leveling in the first seven episodes has been amazing in terms of the animation and the visuals so i have a feeling we might get quite the episode here for episode seven because yesterday this uh, as usual um uh mashal and solo leveling drop on the same days saturdays so this dropped yesterday, but we didn't get a solo leveling episode. We have a little bit of a delay for episode eight. So there's, I think, a recap episode somewhere if like you're interested in that. But obviously nobody really is because it's like it's seven episodes. I don't need a fucking recap, bro. It's been seven weeks. So there's a little bit of delay on that. So I'm expecting, you know, maybe that plays into what's going to happen. Like since they didn't delay Mashal, you know, because Mashal had a break two weeks ago or some shit like that. Where they took an episode, uh, a break just in between episode 5 and 6 when they released episode 6 of Solo Leveling. So, I don't know if people were tripping about them there being a break in Mashal. I don't think people really were. I don't think people really gave a fuck because Solo Leveling was so fucking insane that week. Maybe we get sort of the same treatment. Like, you know, a little back and forth with this episode, episode 7. Because this is setting up to be an insane episode, bro. We already got Mash versus Margaret. Like, the fucking, the, the, the match in the first round of the third part of the exam, the tournament, and everybody's anticipating this. Everybody's expecting Margaret to win. He is the most qualified candidate for the position of Divine Visionary. That is clear amongst his peers, amongst the rest of the Divine Visionaries, amongst Wahlberg. Everybody sees this guy as the perfect candidate. Also, kind of plays into why Rain won and became a Divine Visionary the previous year because Margaret didn't participate. Because Margaret apparently doesn't really give a fuck about the title of Divine Visionary. So I guess he just didn't participate. But everybody recognizes this guy as like the one that should get this or, or, or should definitely win against somebody with no magic, right? So everybody's anticipating this just to see Margaret's full power because a lot of these students haven't seen it before. And then also, are just expecting it to be an easy win for him and are going to be sadly, not sadly, but like are going to be shocked to see how well Mash can actually hold his own, which we saw on the end of last episode. They've already traded one attack each and they're doing their thing. They're going in, you know, fucking Mash busted out a Rock Lee. I think, uh, what was Matt? What was Margaret's attack? Uh, some sort of sphere ball that he threw out with his magic. And that's pretty much all we got. To just start off the match so now we got a full episode where i feel like we can just focus on this and that's what i'm that's why i'm feeling like we're gonna get some good fucking animation some insane you know back and forth between these two characters and maybe potentially this fight lasts the whole episode the pacing is usually pretty fast so i wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't and maybe this ends quicker than we think but with how they've been hyping up Margaret and how he's the most qualified and, you know, obviously we know MASH, he's going to put up a fight. I, I wouldn't mind seeing this being the whole episode, the whole fight. I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. I want to see some struggle. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of trolliness and fucking hilarious uh, actions as we usually get in Mashal. It's fucking so funny. But I'm so excited to see what this fight really entails and how long it's going to last and who comes out on top. I'm expecting it to be MASH. Our, our MC, obviously, but maybe we are not right. Maybe we're not correct. So that's where we're at for Mashal. I'm so excited to get into this. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, and hit the notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Mashal Season 2, Episode 7. Lightning. Are these fucking dragons? Oh, are we going to look at, uh, what is it? Uh, negative zero? It's like we're going on a field trip. Yeah, this has got to be that group that's interested in them. Clearly. I mean, they're above the clouds in the dark night sky, and there's lightning, and they're hooded up on dragons. 
Damn, I was going hard in the opening, bro. That's just gas. Okay, getting a little replay of the first attacks. So maybe this fight is going to get interrupted now that we see that little opening credit with negative zero, I think their name is. Or no, innocent zero. Innocent zero. My dumbass. He good. He good. Don't even trip. Don't even trip. I've already seen this. I, I know the future, bro. Got your ass. Oh, this is hyping me up. We already got the opening out of the way. We continue where we left off. Come on. Mm. I've never heard of Spy. <laughs> he was able to use magic. Bro, he's just that strong. Weren't y'all already, like, bitching him out for not having magic? And now you guys are being, like, convinced that he does because he's that strong? Oh, dude, so gullible. Oh, shit. Rapid fire. Damn. Yo, Mash is dodging all this shit. <laughs> he just pulls out a creep up. He doesn't even say anything. It's like, yeah, this is my most prized possession. Keep it safe for me. Oh, what? <laughs> How did you just know to come and grab that? <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Fa! Yo, is it, that's a composition that looks like a fist, bruh. Wait, he went through? Ooh! This show's soundtrack is so good. <laughs> Did he just burst his eardrums? Like, is my man's deaf right now for the moment? Another one. Damn! Over and over again. Oof. Are, is, the, is, the, is the crowd dumb as fuck? Weren't you guys... Don't you guys all believe the rumor that he doesn't have magic? I thought that was fucking declared already. Oh, is this a sec is this a second spell? Here's that here's that famous that famous track, that famous piece of music he loves. <laughs> fucking Mozart in this bitch. Finale? Yeah, I don't think so. Holy shit. Damn. That shockwave was crazy. It's way too soon. It's way too soon. Y'all think it's already over. Y'all think it's already over, bro. Damn, you too? You think it's over too, bro? Come on. It's not over yet, bro. Where's he at? I had a feeling. Now he's pulling a goddamn Kakashi. Oh my god, bro. Bro, he literally digged. He's playing Dig Dug, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bring out the quads. Ooh! Yeah, he's claiming that it's magic, but I'm surprised the crowd is even believing it. Oh my goodness! Ooh! Yo, no, this is tough. 
I have a feeling Magaron is just, or Margaret is just dealing with it no problem. I feel like he's not taking damage for some reason. See, he's enjoying this shit. In my serious form? Best. Say less. Metamorphosis! What the fuck? Looks like a demon! Oh my goodness! You have hair. <laughs> so he's constantly holding back most of the time? Oh, real. One of my favorite voice actors. Nice guy! Yeah, we saw that clip in the beginning of the episode of them moving out, it seems. That's right, early on in the season, they fucking cla like claimed his ass. Like, yo, fucking MASH is ours, bro. He's ours. Really? The leader himself? Or the founder, I guess you should say? Whoever the top dog is, apparently he's on the move. Ooh, damn, that was quick as fuck. All of a sudden, right next to him. Dude, he's fast as fuck. Damn. Ooh. I am sound itself? That's insane. The only thing faster than the speed of sound is the speed of light. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn. Can MASH do it with just his physical prowess? I don't know. It's looking like right now he's actually met his match. Because MASH is obviously fast, but he hasn't shown us speed up to the speed of sound. This was the animation I was expecting. Oh, he dodged it. Bro, that animation for that kick looked insane. Mmm. Yo, Mash is smart too, bruh! Tartar! Oh -ho -ho! Fucking nice ass lariat, bruh! Damn! Now I'm pulling out a killer beat? Oh, -ho, shit! Yeah, he hasn't used a second spell yet. Damn right, he's a worthy opponent. Second. Yep. Death Gong. Oh, animation looks insane for this, too. What the fuck? A giant ass bell? Doesn't that mean it will affect everybody in the fucking uh, Coliseum too? Yeah. 
Oh, so it won't affect them? Because it's restricted to the arena, he said? It all comes down to this! Can you catch him or not? Yeah, dude, fucking Margaret is fast as shit. I mean, the speed of sound is no joke. Half the clock's already down. The fuck is he gonna do? What is Mash gonna do, bro? Fucking <laughs> Lemon's about to cry. <laughs> Is he- he's just lifting up the ground? What is he gonna do last time? Oh, he got him! He got it! Oh, he broke that shit! Let's go! Is he just accepting defeat? I mean, you don't have your wand anymore. Yeah, he accepts defeat. Wow. <laughs> Let's fucking go, Mash. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Dot, what are you talking about, bro? Your eyes all teared up, too. Gained his interest even more. Well, yeah, what's what's your thoughts on this shit, huh? Been praying on his downfall ever since. Oh, here we go. I knew it. This episode's not gonna end. Innocent Zero is fucking coming in hot. Mash is gonna play a part in helping out the Divine Visionaries, like, take the Innocent Zero on, and they're gonna be like, okay, we can't ignore you anymore. Like, Mash is that guy, dude. Yo, that shit looks tough, bro. Those dragons look insane. Bro, from here on out, I don't know how much of this episode is left, but the episodes after it is gonna be insane. I have a feeling we're gonna even crazier animation. What did he do? Did he just stop time? That's exactly what he did. I would never obtain you? What is their deal with him? What? Yeah, I had a feeling. There's no way everybody's affected. This is Mash's dad, though? What the fuck? Bro, this is literally some tuning exam shit. Like, right when the exam is going on, fucking enemies, enemy forces invade. That's crazy. Damn, the episode ends there, bro. Wow, that was a good fucking episode. That was gas as fuck. Holy shit. Alrighty, guys. What an absolutely another amazing episode of Mashville. That was everything I expected to be an amazing fight throughout the episode between Margaret and Mash. The animation was looking really crisp most of the time. Each of them trading blows, Mash constantly adapting to what Margaret pulled out next. I mean, he had plenty of great spells, uh, pushed him to his limits, or not really, I guess he did, yeah, pushed him to his limits and made him actually show his true form, which is kind of more of a childlike looking form, uh, where he has hair even too, that was the only <laughs> difference Mash noticed. And uh, it basically releases his full magical power, like capacity. And is also that would within doing that allows him to do even more spells that are even more powerful than what he's shown before so he was really giving him a run for his money he's like okay now that i'm in my real form he's able to move at the speed of sound like, he's fast as shit and it was showing that mash could barely keep up i mean yeah, he's fast as fuck on his own, too. You know, with his own physical prowess with no magic. But we're talking about the speed of sound here, dude. Using magic. So, I mean, he he somehow actually got him to, like, 
trapped in a corner at one point where he could only choose to go left or right and then basically gambled on that and somehow actually got a hold of him but the whole fight leading up to that and, and the, some of the moments of animation that we got like that one attack that Margaret put where he, he just went in for a kick and it, it, there was lightning all across his foot because he's moving at the speed of sound and MASH sort of predicted when that attack was going to land because the sound waves hit first within the like ground and the walls around the arena so that's why he was touching the wall and he felt it first and that's how he dodged it and that, that in itself like bro smash mash like when it comes down to it like he's you know a pretty trolly dumb character and <laughs> reacts to things in so many funny ways but when it comes down to it he's got to fucking do what he has to do he is smart as shit to be able to think of that on the fly he was like okay well he's using sound so hold on maybe i can predict this because the sound's gonna hit this wall first and that's surely enough what happened and he was able to actually do dodge that attack and, and that is just smart as fuck out of mash and then that's when margaret pretty much brings out his second spell finally and it's this bell this death gong that he calls it and it basically within one minute if you don't get his wand away from him there's going to be a blast or a sound wave basically that is going to fuck you up essentially like you're done after that and it's a two kilometer radius and it's limited within the arena so i was thinking like yeah what's going to happen to all the people in the stands but i guess it's limited within the confines of the arena you know not the stands and shit so they should have been fine but still that is quite the attack two kilometer radius like that's really that's such a good aoe attack for say something like this that we're getting into where we're facing multiple enemies innocent zero you know what i'm saying like that's a very wide range attack and sure enough he had one minute to try and catch margaret to be able to get his wand away from him so he didn't cast that spell and so that's when he literally picks up a piece of the fucking ground and throws it towards him or lets it fall towards him to where he's basically cornered but he has two directions to go if he needs to escape left or right so it limits the the variability of him being able to escape within Nash's reach whereas before with nothing blocking him he could go behind him he could go above him he could go you know diagonally to the left diagonally to the right this limited his range of where to go and so he literally thought he made it like he you know he was going to the left and he thought he made it out and then I guess Nash barely got a caught a catch of his like robe with his pinky, apparently, according to Margaret, he was like, just his pinky strength? And then eventually got his whole hand on him where he just yanked his shit, grabbed the wand, broke it, boom, cast a spell, or spell discasted, and he won. Right after that, Margaret, it was like, well, I mean, shit, he took out my most, my top spell, and like, I'm on the ground now, and my wand's broken, so I guess he can't move at the speed of sound after that. I mean, I guess wand goes hand in hand with one's magical capabilities. So he just accepted defeat after all that and it was what a spectacle bro i mean mash actually defeated margaret who was the most qualified candidate everybody was expecting to win and everybody witnessed mash in this fight everybody witnessed what he's capable of and it, it, it made caldo one of the divine visionaries even more interested in him where he was all was already a little bit from the little game that they played last episode. So now this is, you know, kind of swayed him even more, seeing him win against Margaret. Uh, Wahlberg as well, even though Wahlberg's been pretty interested in him since the beginning. But uh, once again, he's like, wow, who would have thought he won against Margaret? And then, as well as the guy that set this whole thing up with Margaret because he wanted to see MASH fail so badly and make sure that he didn't, you know, win by any means or even have a chance to participate at first. And... He, he, he's seen him and his efforts gone to waste. MASH still overcame all that. So I wonder what he's... Uh, he probably still thinks, you know, like MASH isn't worthy or, you know, shouldn't be in this world because he doesn't have magic, you know, from his point of view and his beliefs. But as we can see, this episode didn't, ended right, didn't end right away after the fight. And in the beginning of the episode, we saw Innocent Zero, what it seemed to be them. We didn't get a confirmation, but that's obviously who it is. You can just tell by the, like, vibe black dragons dark sky lightning everywhere they're flying on dragons they're all hooded up in you know their robes and cloaks can't really see their faces it's all right this is innocent zero it seems like they're making a move so sure enough Roe is informed of that over at the bureau of magic by the orange-haired kid 
And he's like, oh shit, that's, yeah, that's not fucking good. And apparently it's the, like, the top dog of Innocent Zero. Like, he's actually making a move. Instead of just, you know, a couple leaders or, you know, captains or just members of Innocent Zero. No, it's, it's them, a couple of them and the top fucking dog. And so sure enough, after the fight, they invade. For whatever reason, they're obsessed with mash and you know uh, uh, consider him theirs like literally his their possession and they come in everybody's shocked and then all of a sudden he casts a spell i guess and it pretty much freezes time for everybody everyone's frozen besides Wahlberg, who is like i'm not gonna just let you take this motherfucker there's no way and then we also get this crazy reveal of, like we've been wondering this whole time why why is mash so important to them this guy, who seems to be the top dog or leader of Innocent Zero, walks up to Mash and is like, oh, I never thought I was going to see you again. My son. So this is his real father. Where the fuck have you been my whole life, bitch? And now you're just coming to try and yank me out of my fucking environment and how, I, how I've lived my life up until now? Like, nah, fuck you. What? You don't deserve that shit. So I'm excited to learn more about the backstory around that. Like, what's going on there? Like, you know, is it... Why did you abandon your kid? Uh, what the fuck? And what do you mean? Apparently, once he has him, it's going to complete him or something. So is he trying to absorb MASH or some shit like that? I don't fucking know. But that's what he said. And then so that's when Wahlberg comes down. He's like, I'm not going to let you just do whatever you want. I, I can't let you have this kid. So it seems like Wahlberg's actually getting in action. I don't know if he's the only one that's able to move right now. I, I would think not. I don't think anybody of Divine Visionary level and above can move. I'm assuming Caldo and the rest of the Divine Visionaries are going to be able to get out of this frozen time spell or whatever and help out Wahlberg and there's going to be a huge fight between Innocent Zero and Easton Academy and the Divine Visionaries. I, if I had to guess, I'm expecting MASH to somehow get out of this frozen spell or maybe the time spell will be discasted by Wahlberg or somebody else and then everybody's able to evacuate for the, you know, audience goers. And then, you know, some people are going to fucking actually try and help. And the main forces are going to be Wahlberg and Divine Visionaries. But I feel like MASH is going to participate in this fight as well. And he's going to prove himself even further to where if Glass is fuck and the Divine Visionaries has anything else to say after that, you can't, bro. You literally can't. I defeated Margaret, who was your lackey, in trying to stop me from succeeding. And I helped out defeat the enemy, which was our purpose in keeping me alive in the first place. Like, bro, shut up. Like, no, I'm not. You're not executing me. That's what I think is going to happen. I think he's going to continue to prove himself even further by participating in this huge fight. So from here on out, I'm expecting some crazy shit and I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. It's literally giving me tuning exam vibes from Naruto. Like throughout this fight, fucking MASH pulling off multiple like iconic moves that just reminded me of that series. Uh, the Rock Lee move, the, which was the first move where he, I mean, he, he didn't spin while taking him down, but he still pile drive his ass from way up high and then pulled like a Kakashi almost, you know, dug, in, dug into the ground and then came up from above and, and, you know, pulled him down into the ground. So he was trapped. Uh, and then a, a lariat just like killer B and the fucking Raikage. Uh, and then the last connection that I made, oh yeah, just innocent zero invading. Like this is an exam that's happening right now. And then boom, enemy forces invade while an exam's going on. Just like the shooting exams at Rochimaru and, and, and whatnot. Like, bro, there's a lot of connections there that I noticed that just made me smile. So, all in all, an amazing episode. So fucking good. I loved every second of it. But, yeah, I think that's where we're at. So, that's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please like down below. Comment. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.